light you up. Everybody say, hey, Travis. Hey, Travis. hey listen, guys. This gentleman, I'm so impressed. Yeah, I've followed all of his stuff and his blogs and his social, and he attracts so many great people because he teaches them how to attract great things too. And so, yes, he is such an amazing influencer out there, especially when it comes to being literally an alchemist as far as a business and a father. His mission is to help millions of leaders to make tens of millions. Who wants to make a lot more money? Let me see it, touch some sky. Come on, put your legs in the air, anybody, right? Touchdown, right? Good. So he wants to help you help a lot more people in the process. And it's really about building that brand and that story. All of you have more powerful stories than you know. You think, oh, well, I'm just me, or I'm just like every other example, et cetera. No, your story is extremely powerful. My mom always said, hey, you're unique and special just like everyone else. I was like, Mom, was that a backhand? What was that, right? But you are unique and special. And it's so important to be able to get that and then be able to put it in such an easy-to-use format, Sebastian, that everybody can benefit by. And that is the power of this super likable unicorn of unicorns. Give it up to once in a, not only one moment, but like get rowdy crazy for Travis Brady, would you? Come on. <laughs> woo Right. On the pony. Woo! <laughs> You're humming it perfectly. Uh, anyways, uh, excited to be here today. What is this? That's what the last part of Chat GPT said. <laughs> what, what's a unicorn? Yeah, it's an imaginary creature. It's unique. It's known for its purity and grace. And uh, I love the name. Let's shout out Dan, by the way. Let's give Dan a round of applause for making this happen. Guys, events are a lot. There's a, it takes a lot to put on events. We do events, so make sure you really think uh, Dan. And uh, speaking of unicorn, there's my, there's my unicorn right there in the purple. Yeah, there she is. Where's my single guys at? Single guys at? That's my girl. That's my unicorn. <laughs> All right. We, we seem like we're, in a, we're having a good energy this week, right? What happened this week? All right. The, we're going to make America great again, okay? We really are, all right? And Bobby, he endorsed me. Why? Because I'm the greatest. We already know this, all right? And we're going to have him stay away from the oil. Okay, that's my job, Bobby. All right, we'll tell little Rocket Man that my button is much bigger, okay? It really is. All right. <laughs> so we're going to have some fun. Didn't get some laughs from the other side. Are we, are we Democrats or Republicans in here? And it really, honestly, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. We're business owners. We're business owners, okay? And it's not about... It's not about the politics, it's about what does your brand stand for? What's the X factor in your marketing? And so in this uh, presentation, um, and I promise I'm not here to waste your time. I know I'm joking, but I'm here to give you some really good content that you're gonna walk away with, and it's going to X your marketing in the next year. What does X mean in a math equation? X, could, X is a variable. X could be whatever you want it to be. Okay, so what I'm about to teach you is about the four brand leadership archetypes, okay, and the shadows that we fall into sometimes in the light of the archetypes. Everyone has a lover within them that's good at connecting, good at relating with people. Everyone has a magician, very analytical, very smart. Everyone has a war, it's very action-oriented, can get shit done at the end of the day. And then we all have kings, we're all queens, we're visionaries, we... We see the future, and so each one of these archetypes, there's light. When the sun first peaks over the mountain, it casts the shadow this way. And then as the sun rises into the sky, okay, there's not much of a shadow. But then as the sun starts to fade again, okay, it creates another shadow. So the reason why I say that, within each one of these archetypes, when you're in your greatest strength, okay, when you're in your greatest strength, okay, there's not much shadows. But... Sometimes when we're not in the greatest light of our 
archetype, it creates a shadow. And within each one of those archetypes, there's two shadows. And I won't get into all of it today, but I'm going to give you guys some really, really good stuff. Are you guys ready for this? Okay, turn to your neighbor and said, hey, you're going to want to take notes on this. Turn to your neighbor and say, hey, you're going to want to take notes. You're going to want to take notes on this. Okay, we're going to cover, we're going to cover some good stuff. Um, when I, uh, yesterday I was like um, really excited about coming here, and I was like, man, uh, I should have texted Josh to come, to come video me. And then I walk in, and I was like, Josh, there you are, bro. God is good. Let's give Josh a round of applause. He's, he's a stud. He really is. Um, you know, in, it's important into your brand for people to know the origin story. What's your origin story? And why do you share that part of your brand? This is something you should always be thinking about. When I first started in my entrepreneur journey, I started off as a fitness coach. And then it went to a transformation coach. And then I went into business coaching. And so I called myself... And this was really scary for me to say this, but I called myself a branding coach. Oh. Do you ever feel like an imposter sometimes? Like, who am I to tell people everyone can do this? Maybe do I really have something that's great about me? So it took me a long time. It took me a couple of years to really muster up the strength to say, I'm a branding coach, and I took it serious. I played sports, okay? I just came from my, so uh, my son's soccer game, and I tell my son, let's have fun, but I was like, you know what's more fun than fun? Winning is more fun than fun. So I have this very competitive edge, so I take things serious, and I take that part of myself into business. So I took it very serious being a branding coach, and the coach is you tell them what to do, you're telling them what not to do, what to stay away from, and so it took a lot to own that confidence. But as years went on in my business, I realized that's not really who I am. I'm not a branding coach. Really what I'm doing is I'm walking beside people and I'm helping them see. I'm helping really empower them. And so the words branding coach no longer felt good internally to me. The word that came to me is I'm a branding mentor. Okay. And so that felt a lot better than as years go on, okay, you're using this term. And then I, through a lot of my experience, I realized that's not even what I do. I'm not a branding mentor. I'm not here to tell you your colors or tell you your story. What I really am is a branding alchemist. And it, whoever's read The Alchemist, the book. And if you haven't read the book, I, please read the book. Please absolutely read Shiloh, calm down. <laughs> What's his dog's name? Taco. Taco. Oh, hell yeah. I love that name. Taco. I love tacos. Okay, Taco. Love it. Um, and so the alchemist, if you haven't read the book, he goes on this uh, journey to find wealth by the pyramids. And along the way, he meets a mentor. He falls in love. He has all these crazy experiences. And then when he gets to the pyramids, he realizes that the wealth he seeked after was where he began his journey the entire time, back where he lived. And so there's a lot of metaphor to that, right? And what he realized is that on his journey, okay, and all these experiences he went through, that was the real wealth. Because at the end of the day, guys, your information is more useless than ever before. Chat GPT put your information to shit overnight. What really makes you great and why people follow you and love you and want to hear you is because all the experiences that you have been through, okay? We are who we are through our experiences. Some people have defi been defined through our experiences, not you. You have defined yourself through those experiences. It's a different level, okay? It's a different level of leadership, and you take that serious – Otherwise, you wouldn't be here right now. So we're on a mission. We're on a mission to share our experiences with the world, okay? And that's merely all I'm doing. I'm just sharing my experiences. I'm sharing working one-on-one -on -one with thousands of people, okay? What they're going through, what they're facing when they're trying to put themselves out there in the world. And really what I'm helping them to do is align their mind, body, and spirit, okay? Mind, body, and spirit. When we're aligned, man, 
we grow really, really fast. And sometimes when we're not growing, it's because we're not aligned. And sometimes when we're not aligned, it's because that we're still healing from the experiences that we've went through. Okay, and it shows up. It shows up in the byproduct that we're all after, which is money. Okay, so I have some really cool stuff that I want to teach you guys here today. Okay, who wants, I, I'm looking for one volunteer, who wants to learn something really powerful about their brand? Okay, by a raise of hand. Who wants to learn something really powerful? Okay, I'm going to go you since you sit in the front. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little exercise to do. Okay, tell us your name. What's your name? Sorry, say that again. Gina Madison. Let's give it up for Gina Madison. <laughs> so, what do you, so what do you do? I'm in recruiting and I'm an author. Recruiting and author. Okay, I love it. So, um, so the most important message, okay, we're going to get to some gold here really fast. The most important message of your brand, I refer to these as four W's. There's four W's. The most important W is why. Why do you do what you do? Okay. Why do you do, I just want you to think about that for a second. And they say the reason why this question is so powerful because it aligns with the brain that's directly related to movement and behavior. And you're sitting there telling them the 67 fucking steps that they need to do to get results when in reality, we have to ask that, we have to answer that question first, okay? Why? And does your why align with their why? So what I want you to do, okay, I want you to start in the back of the room, is you're going to whisper your why to this back table, someone in the back table. And then someone from that back table is then going to go whisper someone over here to this table. And then after that person whispers it, then you're going to go to someone else, okay? And we're going to end, let's end all the way back here, not with you though, okay? So go ahead and start that right now. Okay, so we'll just kind of do this as going along. Okay, turn to your neighbor and said, don't get distracted. Say it, don't get distracted. Okay, don't get distracted. Okay, my first question, uh, my first question to you guys is, um, okay, how important is your marketing? How important is your marketing? It's everything. It's everything. You thought you're a business owner? Nope, you're a marketer. Before we are what we say we are, we are a marketer. Okay? The brand is the heart of your business. How big is your heart? The marketing is the blood of your business. How much blood is pumping through that heart? Small brand, not enough marketing, you're dead, man. Okay? mediocrity in today's world, dude, you're going to get ran the fuck over. You approach business lightly and you just get ran the fuck over. There's so many other people out there that are passionate and purposeful. Marketing is where you live and die. And I rant on this a lot and I have a few good rants and I'm sure you have a few good rants, right? You have a few good rants you go on. And the rant is because I want to see people go to the next level. You have to choose one of these three things, okay? One, you're going to do the marketing 100% yourself. You're going to do the videos. You're going to do the photos. You're going to do the graphics. You're going to post it 100%. Or you're going to say, hey, I need a team, a video team to video me. I need someone to help me put together the graphics, and I need someone to help me post these on my social medias, okay? Or you have someone else do it 100%. Choose one. Okay, here's the choice that I constantly see out in the world. None of them. None of them. I look in people's social medias. It's free. You tell me how you're purposeful and passionate. You tell me how you care. You tell me how it doesn't matter about the money that you're here to help people. But yet, what's the thing that holds you back? Money, you're lying to yourself. Or else you don't believe it at the end of the day. Choosing not to market your business, what the hell are you doing? Seriously, what the hell are you doing? And I say this because some of us need to wake the fuck up in what we're doing here. You have a mission. Let me remind you of your mission. Commitment, doing the thing you said you would do even though the moment you set it in no longer exists. 
commitment, doing what you said you would do, even though the moment you set it in no longer exists. Okay, how committed are you? Okay, how committed? I'm committed. And if you're a business owner that's committed, you've bled for your brand, you've cried for your brand, you've laid in bed at night wondering what it's going to do, you care a lot. Marketing has to be a bigger emphasis for you and your business. And I say that because I talk to people like you and I see how smart you are and all the experiences you've gone through. And I see how wise you are and I see how brilliant you are. And I see there's a disconnect from what you have to the people that need you. And I get frustrated for you. I get hurt for you. So we need to start putting it out there. How important is marketing? It's everything. It's everything. That's the first thing you're doing. When I talk to business owners, what are you working on? And it's all this busy work. Okay, what's the thing that solves the biggest problem at the end of the day? It's marketing. Okay, we can no longer show up, okay, as followers in our brand if we are deciding that we are the brand leader. Okay. So we decided market we decided marketing is important. So the next question is, so what really holds us back? Because this isn't new information to any of you guys, right? This isn't new. So what really holds us back? Okay, shout us, shout it out. What holds us back? Okay, the brain. I've heard some good stuff talk today about the brain. I love it. What else? What about the brain? Let's be more specific. Limiting, limiting what? Limiting beliefs. What's the con what's the number one limiting belief? Fear of what? Fear of not being good enough. What else? Fear of rejection. Fear of failure. Fear they're not listening. They're not good enough. Okay. Which mindset or identity do you give more attention to on a daily basis? The, I can't do this, not liked, or is it, I'm loved? And let me remind you this. Some of you need reminded, you are so loved. People want to hear from you. People want to know you more. People really want to connect with you. Sometimes they just don't know how. They want to see those things that you do with your family that you hide from people. They want to hear your dogs. Okay? Guys, you are so loved. Like, you really are. And I hope you walk away with today, like, remembering that. You are so, you are so loved. Okay? And if you started to really own that, okay, you wouldn't get caught up on the haters or the trolls or what people say about that. In fact, you would embrace those things because here's one thing I've noticed about social media over the years. If you're going for people to love your content and that's all you're going for is leveling content, your content doesn't go anywhere. The algorithm is driven by the devil. Okay, it really is. You have to get the negative stuff. One video... Uh, has got more attention in the last year than I can't even count of how many years one video has done. And I can't even count of how many negative comments I was getting. Some of them were really hilarious. You know how you develop thick skin, though? It's not through here. Okay, it's not a fucking mindset. You know how you develop thick skin? You get into the trenches and you develop thick fucking skin. There's no other way. Okay, I've tried it. I've seen it. I've seen other people try to coach. You get thick skin by putting yourself into those situations and putting yourself out there. Don't go for light. Some of you guys play. You show up on video. I want to be light. Some of you show up on video. I want to be not hated. And you give up being loved because you want to be liked or not hated. How'd that one feel? I hit a little deep, didn't it? Because I, that stopped me. I've seen it stop other people. 
Okay, and it's usually one person. One person's in your head. One person's in your head, renting space in your head. You got to raise the rent and kick them out, man. Okay, we got to do something. So that is that lover part of us. Their lover wants to connect, but the lover doesn't understand. Until you stop giving up not being hated and being liked, you can't fully embrace being loved for your brand. Okay, and then the next one right along with that is the fear of losing money. Usually the thing we're afraid of is already happening to some level. Usually the thing we're afraid of of happening is usually already happening. That's what I've noticed. Okay, to some level. That's why, it's, that's why that feeling is coming up. Okay, your experiences are incredibly valuable. Okay, you are incredibly valuable. You have infinite value. And since you have infinite value, money equals value, you can never run out of money. You can never ever run out of money because you could never run out of value. It's impossible. And you get scared of that, running out of money or not having money. And really what you're saying is, I'm afraid of running out of value. You can't. It's not possible. You are valuable. Your experiences you've been, have been valuable. And here's what I'll say. Who's been through some shitty ass experiences in their life? Some fucked up shit. Right? We've all been through those. Don't let them go to waste out of anyone in the world. We are business owners. We have messages. We are our brand. Out of anyone in the world, we should not allow these experiences to go to waste. Never, ever waste a great catastrophe. Never, ever waste a great catastrophe. You went through a divorce, you better get paid for that. You went through cancer, you better get paid for that. Someone backstabbed you, you better get paid for that. Make it right. Okay? I heard this a couple weekends ago. God is your vindicator. God, God will make it right. As long as you get right with him. Okay? And I'm not here to push values, guys. But what I'm saying is know your values. Know what you stand for. Know what you believe and stand up for what you believe. Okay? So we talked about marketing is important. Okay, we talked about, hey, let's not give up. Let's not give up being loved for just being liked or not hated. Okay, so we got those. So the next one is, and this is a common thing that we do, okay, in the business world is we go, I'm going to solve that problem. And then we go over here, I'm going to solve that problem. And there's a common thing, and I'm sure you guys have already heard this, is sometimes we need to figure out who, not figuring out how. Sometimes we try to go and solve all the problems in our business alone. And there's just, and as you get older, and I'm starting to get older now, which is fucking crazy to think, okay? But as we start to get older now, time is no longer going to be on your side. You can't go in and try to figure out everything, okay? Respect your value. Respect your expertise. And when you start to exp uh, respect your expertise and your value you start looking at all the other shit and saying ah, i shouldn't be doing the video stuff josh can do that hey i shouldn't be doing the graphics uh, someone else can do that hey i shouldn't be worrying about blah 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 all someone else can do that okay three what was the th you said three three minutes three three minutes okay we're gonna we're gonna bust through this really fast okay so um so who who needs to help you who needs to help you do this Okay, I went down the rabbit hole this last year. Can AI do what humans can't do is cheaper? And the truth of it is, yes, they can, but now you start to water down your brand. Okay, you start to water down your brand. You need to have someone helping you put together from start to finish, okay? Um, and I'm going to go through this fast. And the next question I'm asked is, what is your budget each month in marketing? What is your budget each month in marketing? Here's some really sad answers. I don't have one. What are you, do, what are you spending money on? Well, I'm not. What is, is this a hobby? Is this a hobby or is this a business? Let's start operating it like a business then. Okay? Elon Musk said this, and this will change your idea of money forever just the way it changed me. It's easier to make $10,000 than it is to save $10,000.
it is easier to make $10,000 than it is to save $10,000. You can't save yourself rich. You already know this, but you do it in your business all the time. Okay, we need healthy, aggressive, but conservative, okay, marketing budgets, okay, to max out your social media, at least with my agency, okay, and I'm going to put a plug in for myself, obviously, because I'm on stage, but this isn't just a plug for me, this is a plug for you, okay, and whoever you ultimately decide to hire in your business. If you had a budget of $20,000 per year, that would seriously max out your marketing, you wouldn't have to touch much in your marketing. You can have it automated and be maxing out YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Okay. And so in my mind, when I start thinking about this, my budget, I start thinking about how many clients would I have to get for this to make sense? How many clients would I have to get through this marketing strategy to actually make sense? To max out, if so, I want you to answer this in, in, your, in your head. How many clients do you think you would legitimately get if you showed up in your marketing full-time, posts every day, showing you, not watered down you, full you. I love working with people that have personality. Dave, I love his personality. Show me some personality, man. Show me some personality, okay? So you're showing up as your brand on social media, okay? How many clients do you think you would get in this next year if you were doing that? Okay, and that should answer it right there. That should answer it right there. And for some of people, that's like $18,000. That's nothing. For other people, like, that's a shitload. Okay, it doesn't matter where you're at, honestly. It matters, are you continuously to put money out there and gaining confidence in yourself and in your brand? $200 to come to an event years ago was a huge investment for me. It was huge. Okay, then $10,000, that was a huge investment for me. Okay, then it was like $30,000, that's a huge investment. But $30,000 was just as hard as the two hundred. dollars It doesn't get easier, you just get stronger. It doesn't get easier, you just get stronger. And then this last year, $100,000 for an event. But I wouldn't have felt confident getting at that level if I didn't build myself up in between. Okay, and that's what you're going to have to do. And $100,000 in the grand scheme of things is still just rookie numbers. Okay, and someone might be rookie numbers. Yeah, world domination. You said, you said this yourself. You want to take over the world. You said this. You want to impact lives all the world. So I'm reminding you of what you said. Okay, I'm reminding you of, of the mission that you're on. Okay, and I want to show, show one more video. I, I wish I had more time. Okay, it's me and my dog. Look how cute he is. Isn't that just the cutest puppy? Okay, there's my son. Um, okay, um, so I have a son. He's four years old, and boy, does my son teach me a lot about leading. Does your kids teach you a lot? Okay. My, my son does do. And one of my dreams was to have my dog, Max, be just best friends with my son because I had a lab when I was younger. And his name was Max. Okay, and I wanted my son to have that same connection to that dog. And what I love about Max is, and if you come over to my house, pay attention to this. If you come over to my house, Max will look you in the eyes. And that's why people love Max. He's grounding, he's gentle, and he will look you. And if I'm not home, he will follow you around the house because you are his new master, okay? And I wanted my son to play fetch with Max. But every time I threw the ball, Max would bring the ball back to me. I'm like, no, Max, Tatum, grab the ball and throw it, bring it back to me. And I was like, why won't he do this? Because... He just, he wasn't respecting him enough. He, Tatum wasn't commanding him. And so how this relates in business is sometimes we're trying to get the balls to move forward, but the balls constantly keep being brought back to you. And so now your balls are in the accounting, your balls are in the marketing. You're just like, the balls always have to go through you to move anything in business. And it's exhausting, isn't it? 
okay? It's exhausting. So the question is, what balls do you want to be moving? And what question, what balls need to be going somewhere else so you don't have to move them every single time? And one of the biggest balls, like I was saying, you're always coming back to is, where is my marketing ball at right now? Okay, and I want to show you this uh, quick video. And it just, I'm in bed and I'm just like, my daddy heart is just melting right now. Can we give it up for our dogs and kids, guys? They teach us so much about life. Okay, um, I want to end this. This thanks for uh, thanks for being patient with the time. So I want to end with this. Uh, actually, where did we end up? Okay, started back here. Where did it end up? Okay, and what was it? What was it though? She asked me what my why was. Yeah. What your why was? Yeah. Okay. What did we start with? I started with the fact that based on my past and the injustices that I've gone through, I wanted to serve the community and do recruiting. Okay, so what's this game called? Telephone. Telephone. So the point of this exercise was to prove how easy is your message able to go from one person to the other. Okay, can I help you simplify this really quick? What was the end of it? Just tell us the end of it. The end of my message? Um, that I, that I wanted to help people and I've placed thousands of people and in the end it needs to be a win-win for everybody. That sounds like a Walmart greeter though. Yeah. I've helped thousands of people put them exactly where they need to be. It's created win-win. Yeah. It, it, it's true. I'm not discounting from that, but what I'm saying is it's too broad. Okay. Write this down guys. The riches are made in the niches. The riches are made in the niches. It's too broad. So what do you, why did you get into recruiting? Mm -hmm. I actually just fell in love with it and I fell in love with it because of what it did for us. What did you fall in love with the most? Meeting people. Yeah. yeah. I believe. And what don't they do? Okay. I believe in the power of real connection. What, is it, what if we would have said something like that? I believe in the power of genuine, real connection in the recruiting process. Okay, so we just got to simplify it. Okay, I, I call it the three S's. Simplify it, sexify it, and sloganize it. Simplify it, sexify it, sloganize it. Okay, and the emotion behind those words is what makes it travel, okay? I, I'm listening up to the panelists, and I'm like, man, they say really brilliant stuff, and you guys say really brilliant stuff all the time, and I love it. But sometimes when we don't have the emotional charge to it, okay, it dies off, okay? It needs that energy. It needs the emotion, okay? Hopefully, I have said something to you that has helped you in an incredible way here today. I'd love to stay connected. If you guys go to my Instagram, I'd love to follow you. It's Travis Brady Brands. If you want to whip out your phone, Travis Brady Brands, okay? I have some free branding resources for you guys. I have lots of free branding resources for you. So branding is one of those things. It's either you're creating it, okay? You're pivoting it or you're evolving it. You're always doing those things. January 1st, okay, is going to be a really pivotal month for us entrepreneurs. And here's why. Trust has been regained back into the entrepreneurial world and people are going to start spending money again. You want to have your brand and your business and your marketing in a position to fucking take off. Okay. To fucking take off. Okay. I'm around my son and he repeats my word sometimes. He goes, dad, that's a bad word. And I go, no, it's not. You know what a bad word is? I can't. I punish my son for I 
when he says, I can't. He's in timeout. Okay, we don't say those words. Now, I don't encourage him to say that word, okay, but let's really look at the things that really stop us. So don't play around with your marketing. Get serious in your marketing. Let us know if we can help you. I'd love to help in any way possible, okay? And, and one more thing I want to say, people, I've heard people say, oh, my business is going to do great because Trump is elected. Dude, Trump ain't doing shit for you, okay? It's your job. It's not anyone else's job. It's your job, okay? Trump doesn't do your sales. He doesn't do your marketing. He doesn't do any of that shit. It's your responsibility. And so I think there's a lot of very naive business owners out there. It's like, oh, my business is going to do okay now since Trump is elected. We're making America great again, not your business, okay? All right? Get serious about your business. Get ready to take off in the new year. We're always looking for speakers for our events as well. I want to put that out there. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Dan. I really appreciate you having me. Give him a round of applause, guys, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Great job. Give it up to Travis. Awesome, Travis. Oh, my gosh. All right, so you got the Brady Bunch going there. Is that what you're telling me? Hey, uh, any quick question for him, though? This guy is a vault of knowledge and wealth. Anybody want to give a little testimonial? You've already utilized him? Yes. In addition to this one-on-one -on -one in the crowd? with a new one based on what he's just said. So revolutionizing hiring through genuine connection. That's what I'm doing. Booyah, he's a wordsmith.